Boy, I'm saving up. I'm saving up. <laughs> all right. Let's be honest, ladies. You can all relate to having that drawer or that bag full of makeup items that you don't use all the time. So now it's time to start multitasking your makeup and turning it into new products that you'll actually use. I am guilty 100%. So John Jordan is walking us through how we can do this. Good morning, John. Good morning. And yeah, you're absolutely right. It's like, you know, you end up with a kit like this and you use two colors. Exactly. Exactly. Right? So what do you mean exactly by multitasking your makeup? Okay. So just, we're going to do a little bit of creative chemistry here. Okay. For instance, tinted moisturizer. Okay. This is a very expensive one. Uh, tinted moisturizer is moisturizer and foundation, okay? And so maybe you have a shade that maybe it's a little bit too dark or something, you know, or it's off a little bit. That doesn't mean that you can't combine it with moisturizer and make your own tinted moisturizer. Um, Want to take it a step further? <laughs> yes, I do. You know, I, do. <laughs> I thought you I'm would. All about your okay. advice. <laughs> I have a, I've prepared a little palette here, okay, on a um, on an hors d'oeuvre plate, and I've mixed uh, or I've, I've deposited some foundation and some moisturizer, but here I've broken apart blush and uh, a couple of shades of blush. All right. All of these things can be combined, Tati. You know, when you think about it. A tinted moisturizer could contain not only the foundation, but it could contain um, moisturizer. And you know what? If you want a little bit of rosy glow, then add a little bit of, you know, a blush that you're not using. Um, and you can actually take powdered products and combine them and come up with a mosaic uh, you know, blusher like this that I are like usually that. very expensive. Uh, and the, like the way that. you do that is you just get an empty compact or even a little, uh, you can get these at craft stores. They're, I think they're for beads, but you could, you know, you could create your own mosaic in something like that. And all you do is you put the powder, crack it apart, put it in here and spray it with alcohol and it mm -hmm. will mm -hmm. actually combine into one product. I love it, I love it. So let's talk lipstick because we ladies know that we end up buying a bunch of them, we have them, we use them occasionally, but we wanna yep. get more bang out of them. So what do you suggest? Yep. Okay, maybe this is too much of a statement, uh, you know, for people, okay? I think it's a pretty color. But not for me. But okay. and, you know, maybe this is the kind of thing that you get with a, gi a gift of purchase with purchase. Mm -hmm. OK, and it's just sitting there. Vaseline with lipstick equals lip gloss. It's that's I really like simple. There are um, suggestions that you actually put these two things in a microwave together. You have to be careful about the container. You know, you don't, don't want to do plastic. But you can actually, if you just use a small little spatula or dis disposable, uh, you know, knife, like, you know, plastic uh, silverware, mm -hmm. yeah. you can combine these two. And again, you know, think about the convenience because it, you could use a stack a of containers like this with your own custom, you know, tinted moisturizer and your own lip gloss and your own mosaic uh, blusher. And that would be like your entire makeup arsenal. Uh, you That's know, right. Just and you're your own little makeup tube. chemist at home, which yep. I love. John, thank you so much. Great tips as usual. Thank you. All right. You want more of John's great ideas? Of course you do. So check out his StyleWise channel on YouTube. Just search for John Jordan StyleWise on YouTube and subscribe right away. You don't want to miss any of his great tips. They come up.